Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists like you guys get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I wanna to talk to you guys about today is how to build your engagement on Instagram. I was recently talking to someone and they were asking me about tips on how they could start to build their engagement up seeing as that they already had such a small following trust me guys it's very possible the more you build your engagement on instagram the more your profile starts to grow the more that people start to see you and the more fans that you start to get now with that being said i want to give you guys five easy tips on how you can start to grow your engagement on instagram tip number one post consistently now this is one of the hardest tips for some of you guys as i see you're trying to do the very cool aesthetic looking thing for your instagram but you have to post consistently multiple times a day if you can i know it's hard i know it's very hard trust me but as artists you are also content creators and instagram is a content platform if you're not putting out stuff consistently every single day you'll start to get lost in the noise on instagram meaning that people will never see you they'll never see what you'll have going on they'll never know to come back and check for you and your page won't grow now what i would recommend you guys doing is go ahead and scheduling your content at the top of the week start to figure out at what times of the day you'll start to post content so that you can set reminders for yourself trust me it makes the process that much easier tip number two only post quality relevant content meaning Post things that make sense to your brand and for the image that you're going for in front of your audience and your fans. Think about it from this way. If you see someone and they're posting blurry photos or grainy videos, would you want to follow up with that person and keep up with what they have going on? Thinking of it from the fact that there are people who are looking at you from the outside and they want to be entertained by your profile and what you have going on and low quality content just doesn't make the cut. If you have a problem with doing this, start to think of ways that you can get visually appealing or aesthetically appealing content together that aligns with your brand and what you realistically can do with your resources and what you have around you. Tip number three, use all of Instagram. Now, a little known thing about Instagram is they break you up into two categories. People who are actually trying to be content creators and build brands through the profile and people who are just using it for personal reasons, whether they're keeping up with friends, family, if they just want to post selfies all of that stuff one of the ways that they filter through these people is by seeing the people who are using all of the features that are on instagram so if you want instagram to take your page seriously and start to help you grow using their algorithm you have to show instagram that you're serious by using every single feature that they bring you or at least most of them the ones that make sense for you so start to posting your stories start using things like polls and their little sliders so that you can get your fans who are already following you to engage with your profile start using your instagram tv post things like music videos, any show footage that you have, or any types of other long form content, as well as using your main Instagram feed. Once you start doing this, Instagram will look at your profile and say, oh, this is a person who's serious about growing their brand and growing themselves through content. We're gonna help you grow. We're gonna start bringing more people into your profile and we're gonna start to help you build up your engagement. Tip number four, don't buy fake followers. Trust me guys, please, this is a big no-no. Don't you ever buy fake followers for your Instagram profile. Just don't do it, don't even think about doing it. Let's say that you have 100 followers and you're getting around 20 to 30 likes for each picture that you get. Look at your profile and you say, huh, I wish I had more followers. So you hit up one of these sketchy websites and you buy 10,000 followers for $5 or something. Now, what Instagram will start to see is a person who has 10,000 followers, they post something, they only get 20 likes on the picture. You know what Instagram thinks? Wow, this person makes trash content. Why would we want trash content to spread on our platform? This is a big reason why if they're not real people following with your page, you don't want them on there. Having bigger numbers on your profile doesn't do anything for you if they're not real people interacting with your content. So I know it sounds obvious. If you've bought fake followers before, please go to your profile and purge them right now you'll be much better starting off from scratch and building up real people who follow you. And tip number five, actually be engaging with other people's content, meaning you want to be liking pictures, you want to be leaving comments on other people that you're following or any fans that you may be following, and you want to be returning DMs that may be coming your way. Instagram is in fact a social media platform and their main goal is to have people interacting with each other and engaging with each other. So the more that you show love to other people, the more that they get notified of you and start to come back and return the love to you and help you grow your page that way. All right, guys, so just to give you all a little recap, tip number one, make sure that you're posting consistently multiple times a day, every single day, 
every single week. Trust me, your engagement will start to flow in because people will trust you and see that, hey, this guy's actually active on the platform. Tip number two, make sure that you're posting relevant quality content you want to be seen as an artist so make sure that you post things that an artist would post don't just post random food selfies or any other things like that and make sure that the content is always as high quality as you can get it and not blurry or anything that's grainy tip number three make sure that you use all of instagram this means make sure that you're using their story feature you're using igtv you're actually posting to your feed you're using hashtags just the whole shebang whatever it is that instagram wants you to use the more that you actually start to use all of their features the more that they start to rock with you and your page and that actually help you and your platform grow tip number four don't buy fake followers i don't feel like i need to explain this again guys it messes up your engagement rate it doesn't look good people can tell just don't buy fake followers. And tip number five, actually engage on the profile, engage with your fans that you're already following, like pictures, leave comments, respond to DMs, all of that jazz that lets Instagram know that you're serious and want to return the engagement back to you and your profile. Now, once again, guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Make sure you hit those post notifications as well. I wouldn't want you all to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey and I'll see y'all next time.